Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to DIY Crafts. Today we are going to be making a catastic planter's pot. Um, as you can see here, I've already started one, and you guys are going to watch me finish up. Um, so this is what we are making today. Super cute to put outside. It goes in line with our summer reading theme, which is tales and tales. So today we're going to be talking all about cat tales. Um, not the kind you see outside or in like the ponds, but the actual furry, fuzzy, long tail cat tails. Um, so again, we're going to be taking this plain Jane, boring planter's pot and turning it into this beautiful planter's pot. Super fun to make. There are so many little bits and pieces to this craft that you kind of get a little bit of everything. Um, so if you're not a painter or you're not a crafter or you're in between or you like to paint, but you don't like to craft or vice versa, this is kind of the perfect gateway for you. Um, I am not a painter. I am not an artist. I am a crafter. But this is um, a really good way to kind of squeeze in and learn to paint and enjoy painting. So let's begin. Um, first things first, you are going to want to take a plain Jane planner spot with nothing on it. Um, any size works, it does not matter. Um, there is not a one size fits all to this because it depends on how large you want your cats to be. Um, smaller pot, smaller cats. So first things first, you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna start drawing all these little cats and you're just gonna start layering them on top of each other. So you're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna squeeze you guys down so you guys can see what I'm doing. All you're gonna do is start from the bottom work your way up make some pointed ears make a head make some more pointed ears and then go straight back down just like that and you're going to do that all the way around so once again i'm going to go up make some pointed ears make a head make some more pointed ears and then go back down and it doesn't matter if your lines are super dark or not because you're going to cover them in paint anyway so any pencil will work um, if you are that good and you don't want to use pencil, you can go ahead and go straight into the painting part or use a permanent marker. It is totally up to you. So I'm going to pivot this a little bit so I can see a little bit better. See if you guys can see this. I'm just going to go up, make my pointed ear, make my head, and go back down. And I'm going to go all the way around. Up, pointed ear, head, and back down. So I'm going to do this all the way around. You can do different sizes. Up head, pointed ear, and back down. So different sizes look pretty cool. You can go back and forth between really big, pointed ears, and back down. And then you're just gonna connect them. So just so you guys can see, sorry the shadow is not really helping your paws here. But all the way around just like this. And once you have that first layer, you're gonna start doing the second layer behind. You can start anywhere you want. I'm gonna start right about here. And I'm just gonna go up once again, ears, head, and back down. And I'm gonna take off right from this next one. So go up, pointed ears, head, pointed ears, and back down. Doesn't matter where you fall in between because you're gonna do another one. Let's go up, maybe this one's a little bit taller, pointed ears. And back down so you can start to see it starting to layer on each other here and make this one a little bit smaller head you can do all different size ears small medium all different size cats so this one's really big and then it goes to this one that's really small and you're just gonna keep going and it sounds really cool <laughs> So, up, pointed ears, head, pointed ears, and back down, and then a couple more. Up, pointed ears, and back down, and then I got one more to connect these two. So I'm going to go probably from here, pointed ears, back down, and I'm just going to do a couple more just to kind of make it all a little bit more connected. So I'll do one right here. 
You can go up as high or as low on the planner's pot as you want. You can do as many layers as you feel you need. There is no right or wrong reason here. Um, sometimes you can never have too many cats. So you can see here, I kind of made a mistake. This line goes out a little and really it should go straight down. Don't worry about it. You can touch off, touch up all those little cosmetic details after. So I'm gonna go from here down here and down. You can start to see I'm starting to get some pretty cool layering going on here. And I have this gap, so I'm gonna fill this gap right here. And a couple more. Pencil lead is running out. Yeah, I'll do one right here. I think that's pretty good. So you have all these different layers of cats going on here. And now we're going to get into the fun part and we're going to start painting. I'm going to tip you guys back up a little. Yay! All right. So now we're going to get into the fun part, which is all about the paint. So I'm going to move the almost finished product over here. And I have a paint palette full of all sorts of fun, awesome colors. Um, so I have kind of my color wheel going on here. I got my yellow, my green, my blue. I have a pre-made purple that I'm gonna make pink out of. I have red and of course, that you guys can't see it, I have white over here. Um, white is probably the most important part because you don't want dark cats. You want nice, bright, popping, full of um, color cats. And dark colors just won't show up as well. So I have this little tiny paintbrush. And we're going to go ahead and start painting some of the cats, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this yellow. I'm not going to mix it because I just want to see what it looks like on the terracotta pot. So tilt you guys down again, and let's start painting. So I have this really bright cat right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just color it yellow. So this lowest cat is going to be a beautiful yellow part. You don't have to get super crazy with the lines because you're going to go over it with a permanent marker, but you do want to get fairly close and as almost as good as you can in lines. So this part of the craft is super fun because this allows you to mix colored, mix paint colors. Um, you can do as many different colors as you want. You can take three colors and kind of just keep going back and forth. That's entirely up to you. So you're basically just going to paint every single cat that you see a different color. Or like I said, if you want, you have like two or three favorite colors, just keep going back between those colors. You do want to start at the top and work your way down though, because you want to make sure you don't get all these little brush lines in there. So you do use this. And you'll notice that the paint dries really fast on the terracotta. The terracotta just seems to soak up those, the paint. So even more so to not have too, too many brush lines going on here. So here we go. You don't have to be super perfect, but get as close as perfect as you can. And if you mess up, don't worry about it because you can cover up your mistakes with that permanent marker. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean as soon as we paint a couple of cats. Because this is the funnest part, I tell you. Aside from making the cat faces, that's pretty fun too. Because I don't know if you have a cat, but they make some pretty funky faces. Um, if you are not a fan of cats, you could easily do this as a dog outline. And instead of making pointy ears, you can make some floppy ears. And then again, just keep layering it. So I'm not going to rinse my brush. I'm going to go straight for orange. And I'm going to do this cat orange. Look at that awesome color. Just like that. Bright, bright orange. If I mix in some of this yellow with it, maybe I'll make a cool little calico color. Definitely the way to go. So 
again, you just want to make sure you start at the top and go all the way down to the bottom so you're not making too, too much with the brush marks. So I have a yellow cat, an orange cat. Let's go for a red. We'll try the rainbow here. All righty. Go for red. Again, I'm not rinsing my brush because I kind of like when it um, picks up some of the other colors. And going all the way up to the top. Oops. See, I messed up already, but I'm just going to go over my pencil mark and go all the way down. And then we can fix that with the permanent marker later. So, red. Just picking up some of my yellow from the earlier one. There we go. All the way down to the bottom. Make sure you color the terracotta best as possible. So red, orange, yellow. We're going to go to the red and we're going to do purple. I feel like I'm messing up my rainbow, but that's okay. So purple, just leave it exactly as is. It's a little bit dark. But we'll, maybe we'll do the dark ones on the bottom and start lightening it up as we go to the top. Just like that. So like I said, every cat can be a different color. Notice how I'm not getting super particular with the ears because again, I can fix that with the permanent marker. The permanent marker is going to be that definition factor. So, and then the terracotta is soaking up that purple paint pretty nicely. I'm going to do a couple of coats here. But the beauty of this is the terracotta soaks it up pretty fast, so it dries pretty quickly. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. I got some yellow mixing in with my purple. That's how you make a... Uh, it's not a good way to make brown. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Go all the way up. I might have to go back and redo this one. This is a very dark purple. That's my purple. I'm going to rinse my brush off a little. Try it on my paper towel. And go for blue. So same thing, I'm just outlining each color. This is your opportunity to go a little crazy. Um, and we'll mix up some colors just so you guys can see the different varieties we got going on here. Um, if you don't have paint, paint pens are super awesome um, and super versatile. And if I had paint pens, I would have used paint pens, but forgot them but that's still a pretty awesome blue and this helps me become a better painter practice makes perfect right all the way down make sure you get that bottom lip too and then I'll just touch this up a little and go all the way down once again pretty cool we're getting there got a bunch of different colored cats Whoa, making some colors on my tablecloth. I'm gonna go for a different blue. It's a bit darker. I don't like too, too much dark colors because it doesn't show up as cool. But I have this dark blue, might as well use it. And if you don't wanna have colors that are too close together, like this blue and the next blue, pick a different color. Pretty cool. And I'm going to go for green. And then, hmm, I don't know, maybe a lighter green. So let's do a little green and blue. So I'm just going to take my blue that's already on my brush, a little bit of green, and mix it together to make kind of a teal color. Grab a little water so I can spread it around. 
Makes a pretty awesome color. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. It's a pretty cool green. Nice teal. So, go ahead. Oh, yeah, look at that. Such a pretty color. So, one of the things that I really like to do when I paint is mix colors and just see what kind of awesome colors you can create. This color is pretty spectacular if you're a fan of green. Um... Grab a little more. And you can make your cats as solid as you want. Or if you want, just put a nice little light coat of paint on it and they'll kind of be a little translucent. That is totally up to you. You can even do some super solid cats and some cats that are like more um, transparent for a little variety. So I'm just going to take my plain green and do this bright color green over here. That very bright green, it's actually mixing with the teal to make kind of like a multicolored cat, which we have. You can even do striped cats if you want. This is your opportunity to kind of let your imagination fly to whatever kind of cat you want. Um, this would also make a really good gift for that best friend you have that has a bunch of cats or yourself like me. Alrighty. So again, I'm not too worried about making a mess up here because I'm going to fix that with the permanent marker. And you're just going to keep going. You're just going to keep adding more and more colors. So just so you guys can see, we'll do one partial layer all the way to the top just so you guys can see how it looks, okay? You don't want to do too many colors close together. So this blue, I think we'll... Um, Make a nice pink to go in the middle to kind of contrast those two colors. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take the white. I'm going to take the red. And I'm going to make a nice pink color. Perfect. A little white, a little red, brighten that up. And then I'm just going to do this cat in the back here. So... You gotta get a little bit delicate here where the cats meet, but again, you don't have to be super close together because that's where your permanent marker is gonna save you. So, you guys see that? Again, you don't have to go super close. And this is where you gotta be careful with those paintbrush lines. Just like that. Very good. Bright pink cat. And then on the side of my bright pink cat, I can just keep the pink color and go for red. Mix those colors together and get a little pink, get a little red. Not going too crazy, because again, that's where the permanent marker is going to help those crazy lines I got going on here. And I'm pretty much, that's at the point that I'm going to stop. Because you guys get the idea. So you don't have to go too, too crazy with your lines. See how they're not matching up perfectly. There's some gaps in here. That's where that permanent marker is going to come in. And that's what's going to fix all that. So we're going to move on and pretend that we just did this whole thing. In the interest of time, so you guys don't totally lose me here. So after all your cats are painted all different awesome colors, you're gonna go in and add all those fine-tuned awesome details. So the best way to do this is with a permanent marker. And you're gonna go in and you're just gonna outline your cats. So I have a cat here. Notice here how I didn't close the gap with the paint too, too much. So that's what the permanent marker is gonna do. I'm going to go in, do one line, go in and thicken it again. 
If you had a paint pen, this is that moment where you would want to use it. Just be careful that you don't let the paint run. And I'm go all the way down with this one. So you can have super fun with this. You can add a little hair. You can go ahead and add some happy eyes. You can add a round nose or a triangle nose or a cute little heart nose like this. And then you can add a big smiley face and of course some whiskers. And you can leave it just like that. And then you can add big white eyeballs with the white paint. You can do smaller faces, larger faces. You can do two little black dots with a little tiny bit of white in it to make them kind of look like they're uh, super happy. And the same thing over here. Let's we'll go follow your paint line to your ears. And so I'm not too, too worried about my lines, once again, because that's where the paint, the marker comes in, and it's going to help give you that definition that you want. And then once again, you go in, just going to do two little round eyes, round nose, and just a tiny little smiley face, and some tiny whiskers, just like that. So every cat you can have making a different face. I even have like a grumpy cat around here somewhere. This is my grumpy cat. So we'll do another one. So all the way down. This cat is all ears. It's got no brain, no head at all, and just all ears. And then um, you're just going to put in a smiley face or whatever you want. And that's it. So that is today's craft. That's all you have to do. You can go in and make all these super awesome cats and decorate them however you see fit. I hope you all enjoyed Catastic plant Planner Spots. Enjoy making it. Like I said, give it to your friends. Make all different fun faces. Whatever it is you guys want to do. Alrighty. Until next week, I will see you guys all then at 3.30. Have a good one.